So in this video, we are actually going to talk about the dimensions and I, I'm going to use the um, global dimension, the uh, customer group to change the lines. So we actually had changed the columns to work out with different months. So we had current month and then plus one month for the, uh, the budget, actual and difference. Wow, that's a nice spelling. Uh, so what we want to do on the columns is instead of just having here item, which is the, uh, the coffee mug, I'll just call it CM, I want to group the items up. So I'm going to group the items up by um, customer group, which is going to be small. Uh, and, and then another customer group, which is medium. So we'll call that customer group. And customer group is a global dimension. And we can just grab that global dimension in our lines and put it in. And then it should be filtering out the coffee mugs for the budget actual uh, and difference going out. So let's see how we configure that. Should be fairly easy. Okay, so now what do we want to do is go into the same as we've been working on the sales analysis report. Um, go into edit analysis report, show the matrix. And so we have one item here. Uh, we were able to get the budget for this month and budget for next month in here and how much we've sold. We haven't sold any. So again, I'll populate that data later. But remember when we actually did the budgeting or sales budget, we did it by um, customer group and by region. And so this is the budget right here. If I look into it, um, it's supposed to be categorized at least by region or customer group. Let's see here. Um, looks like it is by, by customer group right here. And uh, if I look at dimensions, we actually do have region in here. So customer group shows up because it's a global dimension, so it comes straight into the line. But if I go into the details, I find the region. So we have both customer group and region in here. Now, however, in my line here, I am simply not caring about that, but that's not good. We need to add the, uh, the customer group and the region. So how do we do that? Uh, should be simple, right? Should just go into navigate action set of lines, and I should be able to set up the customer uh, group and region right here. So I can go and set the customer group. And while actually while I'm doing this, so I'm going to set the customer group up to be small. Um, and while I'm doing this, I'm just going to throw in the other three items. So this is a little prettier than just one item. That's the issue with demos always, right? They don't look very realistic. So let's just see for small. And this item was the uh, medium drip coffee. I, there's actually an easy way to do this. I can go in here and say, insert item. Uh, maybe I'll do that for the next one. I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, So if I go here, oops, let's do zero three, uh, and I'll go insert item, and I'll just pick the item, the paper coffee cup, hit OK. It actually comes in here. Oh, it does change that. I'll leave that as three. So I don't have to type it up. OK, and I'll put the customer group as small, and Let's select it, right so, and then I'll close it out and hit show matrix. And now I'm actually filtering only on small. So the, the budget for an extra coffee mug for this month, which is February was 550. And if I go out to sales, actually finance, sales budget, um, into the budget, edit budget. 
and February was 550 total. But if I change the customer group here to medium, I have nothing for February. So I'm going to say the February uh, medium was 1000. Actually, I'm going to populate it out 1200, 1300, uh, 1800, 700, 600, uh, 500. And then we'll go back up again 750 it's getting cold 900 and 1300 let's not go crazy okay so if i take away the medium customer group now it's combined together so the february is actually 1550 and if i go back into my sales analysis report and i take a look at the report itself it's still 550. Why? Because in our actions lines, uh, we have specified that we're looking at the small customer group. So I can actually say in the description here, um, or just add a line, that might be nicer. Uh, put a new line and just say zero, zero, and call that a small customer group um, and put that bold and if we could close that out and show matrix now we have a header yay small customer group these are the items we haven't sold anything so we have a lot to catch up with but but at least these are the numbers. And that's not including the medium one that I just created because it's only for small. So if I uh, actually add the medium, you can see how that works. Obviously you're gonna guess how that works. So I'll just put here 10 and then we'll do an 11. So we'll make a space, medium, customer group, um and i'll insert the item <laughs> use the simple ways right like that Ooh, i didn't want it up there let's delete that that was odd let's put it here so function insert item okay that's better I guess you have to create the record and it has to have saved it and then it overwrites it. Or maybe I was up there when I did that. Anyways, so here if I put medium, um, and just leave it at that. Since we're just showing this, show matrix. Now I have the budget for medium, which is different than from. Uh, from small. I should have bolded this, but you guys get the picture. 